sitting here doing a little painting. Thought I'd start just a couple minutes early. I've got a, a partner out there that's looking for this right now and she's going to post this other places so I'm just going to hang here for a minute so if you need to go get a snack if you need to go get your supplies you can do that and I'm just going to sit here for another minute or two just doing a little painting I'll tell you all about it I think painting is a lot of fun. I uh, try not to get too much paint on me, but you know, it happens. So I'm Vicki Proctor, and I'm going to be your host for this afternoon's Facebook Live. And I'm trying to do this without dropping it on the table. I don't have all my stuff here that I'm using. I'm just kind of killing some time. All right. So it's almost 2 o'clock. Give it about one more minute. Let's see what else I can paint while we're sitting here. I've got all sorts of stuff I'm going to show you. Uh, this is all about being creative and we're going to get into using some nature today all right let's see what time it is it is almost time so i'm going to finish up this last piece here let you get situated i know a lot of you will watch this at a later time but if you're on there let me know. Not that I can see it real well, but let's see. Jaina? All right. Good. There's a couple people on there. All right. Well, then I'm going to get started. This is going to go really fast. I'm not going to create for hours in front of you, but I'm just going to give you a couple tidbits here. Let me get organized. All right. There we go. Everybody on there now? All right. So I'm Vicki Proctor and I am the outdoor program team leader and I work for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio and sometimes I work in the Dayton office. Sometimes I work in the Lima office. Uh, right now this is my office. Uh, I have birds out there, a lot of nature. I, I actually live in Conover, which is cornfield country. So I've got a nice yard with great colors and stuff. And then I can look off and see the pig barns and see the goats over there. And, and uh, it's nice being out here in, in the, where it's nice and peaceful and quiet. So actually I, I like to create here because there's a lot of light. Um, how many out there have used nature to be creative with? Uh, if you have, just kind of type it in there. Let me know what you've made before. Uh, some of you have maybe used, you know, stuff from nature. Maybe you've been inspired by nature. So what we're going to do today is talk about um, being creative and, and using nature as a, a large part of it. So we're going to concentrate on the Outdoor Art Master Badge. And that is for older girls, 11th, 12th grade, our ambassadors. But what I'm going to show you today, you know, a lot of people would be interested in all, all different age levels, and it's a lot of fun. So the Outdoor Art Master, um, all our badges have like five steps. And I'm actually going to go through step one today. Uh, if you've been on here before, we actually did step two about a week or two ago. So you can actually look that up. Uh, we've probably made some YouTube videos out of it. So it's, um, you, I'll tell you where to find those uh, later on. But uh, all the steps 
and all our badges are the same. The first one is kind of an introductory, do some planning, thinking things through. And that's what, what we're going to do today. And before I just jump right, right in there, um, I, I'm the outdoor program person, and so I spend a lot of time outdoors. And so usually how I go about this is I, I don't go, ah, I'm going to create this thing, and then I do it. It's more like I wander around a lot, and I kind of go, oh, look at this piece, and look at this part. And so I slowly fill up my garage, my sun deck, uh, the barn. It's all full of rock sticks, bones, you name it, I've got it. Because, you know, when you find it, you have to you have to have it. So anyway, let me let me get started here. So uh, the Outdoor Art Master Badge, we're going to do step one, which is basically explore outdoor art. It's kind of the introductory piece. And step one has three choices for you to do. It always gives you a lot of choices, but one choice is to combine indoor art and then be able to um, kind of bring in the outdoors and do some more with nature. The other one is create and show art. And then the last one is find a female artist who has been inspired by nature. I talked about someone the last time, but there's a lot of people art out there that you can look up that, you know, they paint, they sculpt, and it's all from what they see outdoors. So step one is, yeah, um, kind of an interesting one. I thought, oh, how do I do this? So what you're supposed to do is create something indoors. And when you do it, you have to start off with, with it being in black and white. And then preferably you do the rest of the badge. And then at the very end, after you've kind of indoctrinated yourself into a lot of different kinds of art, you come back and you actually create the same art project again, but then you infuse the, the nature colors into it. So that's the one I chose. And I thought that might be the easiest one right now to be able to show you. So here's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna create something using nature. It's indoors. Uh, you could find some of this indoors. I, I chose some things that I had found outdoors. Um, but I thought, what can I do in black and white? So. Uh, in the badge proper, it shows somebody had taken watercolor and they'd done like a, a black and white, which really means they mostly took black and drew a picture. And then later on, they went out and they they looked and saw what colors, and then they used different colors to watercolor to, to, to then do another picture in colors. And um, uh, I've tried watercolor. I'm not all that great at it, but I wanted to share with you. I don't know. You can get really cheap little packs of watercolors um, or really expensive, but what I kind of do when I want to watercolor is they have watercolor pencils or colored pencils, but they're really cool. So if you've never heard of them, look for them. They're special watercolor, and I'm going to show you how those work real quick. So I've, I've drawn something here, but I'm going to take more green. So you take this, I've already drawn kind of a, a tree, some grass, and then I might just do sort of a, you know, weird looking tree. So I don't have to color it in. It's not like I have to do that because this is watercolor pencil. So now I sort of have a start. You see I've got a trunk. And now what you can do is take a wet paintbrush now, see if I can get closer. And what this will do is then you can smear it. So I'm going to be kind of ab abstract. I can get in there and get the green. So it's kind of like a watercolor. I can really even the colors out. Uh, put a little bit more water down here. And I can blend. And see, then I can go out on my page. And it actually really looks like I've kind of watercolored. And then I can do the tree trunk. Okay. So in this project, what you can do is do all this black and white. There you go. So now if you don't know anything about watercolor pencils, and then I might come down here. So that's kind of cool. Again, I'm, I'm not much of an artist when it comes to that. So I chose not to do that one. Um, another one is weaving. And I thought, oh, you know, I've done weavings and, and I like to take sticks that are really kind of cool and I might tie it off here 
and run my strings up and down. And then I thought, well, I'll get some black and white yarn and I'll weave it in there. And then later on, I would get another stick, <clears throat> go out, look at the colors and come back in and do some really cool colors. And I showed this the last time. Then what I did is, let's see if I can get this where you can see it, is then I did another one. And I actually have different colors of things in here. So nature colors and some feathers, etc. So that's that's one way. And I thought, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know what yarn I have and I don't want to go out and buy it. So I'm trying to do things that you guys have around the house. <clears throat> and then I thought, okay, let's get really creative, black and white. And I thought, abstract. And so you could take paper, just white piece of paper like this. And what I did is I thought maybe I could do some sort of like a mosaic or an abstract using white ripped up pieces of paper and black ripped up pieces of paper. And then I could arrange them in a way that it could be considered, it could be considered art. And if you don't have like, surely you have some white paper, but if you don't have black, all I did was got a little piece of paper and I took a black magic marker and I just colored the whole paper in black and then I ripped it up. So I'm just trying to be creative with, with what I have. So then you could come back and if you don't have colored paper, you could take again markers or you could take your watercolor pencils, do different colors, and then do again an abstract. You could actually have countryside, uh, a, prof a picture of someone, Anyway, you have to be really creative to do that. But that's that was another thing I thought of. And I thought, eh, that wouldn't make for real interesting. Whoops, something just fell off. Um, so I thought, well, okay, what else could I do? And I thought, what about a hanging, like a mobile? Mobile? Mobile. A, a hanging. I can't remember which way to say the, the wor word, a mobile. So I thought, what, what, what could I hang on it, but what could I color black and white? So I have a lot of choices. Again, I have a lot of stuff laying around. Um, I use old cigar boxes that I found at a, somewhere. And I thought, you know, I think I'm going to take tree cookies. So if you can get somebody to cut some of these for you, uh, that's what I'm going to do. But some of my other options is I made, so I made these cool trees. And when I make them, I have all the parts and pieces afterwards. So I have all these weird shaped pieces of different kinds of wood. And what I did then is I just took one that thought I thought was kind of cool and I just did a hole in them. So I could do that. And then the last one, this is really kind of off the charts, but I like to decorate gourds and gourds are really cool. And when they're old and dead, I just went ahead and uh, cut a bunch of them into pieces. I actually have a gourd saw, but you could break them, and it'd be really interesting to have the broken shapes. I have all kinds of shapes in here. So that's kind of what I thought I would do. And so what I need to do that is I need some paint. So I just, I had paint here. And this is just brand, well, this is Apple Barrel, but this is the cheaper brand X-ish kind that you can get at Walmart for like 50 cents. Um, some of the kinds are like 98 cents, but I figure 50 cents. So I have just kind of the basic colors. I had black and white. I have two greens. I have yellow, orange, blue, and a brown. And you know, when I use those, I got to thinking, I, I'll go buy some more. And I thought, no, you can just mix those. So I have the paint, I have my uh, water, my paintbrush, I use a, just a little lid for paint. Uh, because I get sloppy, uh, I can use mousse paper, but sometimes wax paper is just as cool, so I'm going to put some of that down. Um, I need my thing here that I'm going to paint. I've got a couple sizes, we're going to go through those. And let's see, what else? Um, so to be able to hang it, I need a stick. So I thought this is kind of cool. I can tie them on and then hang them off of here. I also have a bigger stick. So just kind of whatever, something that you want to hang them off of. I just like to use nature. I thought it looked cool. 
and then I have some string. I have some sinew or any kind of string that you can use. I thought this was kind of thick and, and chunky, so I didn't want to use that. So I actually have some jewelry making um, string. It's a lot, the stretchy stuff, it doesn't have to be. Um, it, I like it because it's kind of clear, you don't see it, but you could use fish line, you could use thread, anything to tie, like just root around the house, see what you have. All right, so we're ready. So I'm gonna glob in some, oh, green paint here. Hopefully you can see this close enough. I can't get too much closer, but I'll get in there. So I figure I'm gonna do maybe six or seven of these. Actually seven makes it, you know, kind of a little bit um, more of the, the odd number, I think. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint, and I'm only gonna do one of these because I don't want you to sit here and have to watch me paint one. And, um, oh, hello, time out. Now this is the blooper time, so this is actually supposed to be the black and white time. So let's start over again, a little bit of white. Clean my brush off. And we'll do that, because we, we officially haven't seen any colors yet out there. So I'm just going to glob some white on. I'm not going to be horribly neat, because I just want to give you a sample of what I'm doing. And once you get this done and you let it dry, you know, you could put antiquing kind of stuff. You could get real creative. That, that's what I like about nature. I'm not suggesting you do it this way. I'm just suggesting that this motivated me this morning. So here we go. What do you guys think? It's not really exciting, but it's a tree cookie. It's white. Um, the other side, I probably would paint black but I'm just gonna let that sit there for a while. I wanna show you some of the other things that I did in black and white. So those pieces of odd colored wood, I already painted those, so now I have a black one and a white one. Okay, those turned out kind of cool. And then I also took my gourd pieces and I did some white ones, I did some black ones. These are all different shapes and sizes. Again, I used a gourd saw, but I think, you know, you can go and break them and they're kind of cool. And now you have two of them instead of just the one big one. One didn't have a hole, I'd have to put a hole in. So um, you might have to get somebody with a drill um, so you could borrow a drill and drill in, do your holes. So anyway, so I think now we're set. How do we hang these? So what you can do is take your string. Actually, I'm going to take my other string here and show you because then this shows up a little bit better so you have scissors here and you can do this a lot of different ways um, actually what I prefer to do is tie on my piece first and actually tie all of them and I want to get long enough string because I want to vary the distance for my mobile I don't want them all hanging the same distance I want it to look really cool so there now I've got a natural side and then I've got a white side. So in, you know, if it's windy, if you hang it somewhere in your house, it's windy. So that's kind of cool. So what I would do is get all those ready to go. And I'm going to take my stick and I, really the easiest way to do this is then just tie it on. And I'm not going to again, get fancy here, but that's the hardest part is tying the little stuff. Okay, there we go. And then I would probably leave that loose because I might want to adjust it. So I'm, I'm going to vary at different places. So probably then what I do next is get all my other ones on, some longer, some shorter. And then I would have my black and white representation of the piece of art. And that really is all that part of the badge is about. So I do have one that's finished. So I wanted you to see a finished product. So there we go. So there is my black and white mobile, mobile, mobile. And now as it turns, you can see some sides are black, some are white. 
and that might be kind of fun. I did something creative on this and see if I can get up there and show you. Instead of tying around, you know, the, the stick that I wanted it to, to go around, I drilled a hole. So again, I have access to the drill. And then I tied a little stick up here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, a little stick there. Tied my string around it through the hole. And now that just sits on there. And it makes it look kind of three-dimensional instead of just tying my string around. So I, all these are tied on just kind of the same way. And you can get different things up here that look really cool. You can get rocks. It, it's all about how creative you can get. So I think that looks kind of cool. What do you think? Any thoughts, comments? Any way that you would change this? So anyway, so that's part one of this this badge. So I'm just going to lay this down here, try not to trip over everything. What we have to do now is actually we want to recreate what we just made only after going out and looking at colors in nature. So we're going to take a little a quick jaunt outside. So bear with me while I unhook this. Hopefully I won't lose. So we're going to head outside. So, sorry here. All right, it's getting a little windy. All my birds are like, hey, somebody's coming out of the house. Okay, so what we want to do, because part of this badge is now to come out and look at nature. And again, hopefully I'm not going to lose anybody. And I'm not quite sure what you can see. Again, I live in a cornfield. Uh, I might go through a woods, but I'm going to look in my yard. And I'm not going to spend too much time out here. But how many of you see like different shades of green? So there's a bush there that's a dark green and it's got some orangey red flowers, grass green, there's blue sky, there's actually some clouds with all different colors. I'm, like, I'm seeing like a million colors just in the tree greens, the leaves. Um, we can get down in here, there's purple. And then of course my favorite flowers I'm sure you all have them, the dandelion, the yellow one, and then the poofy one. Um, look at all the different shades of yellow. The dandelions, I've got yellow bushes over there. So now that I'm kind of infused, I've got all these colors in my mind, we're going to go back inside and see what we can create now. So, alrighty. I'm going to put you back up here, and I'm going to plug you in again. Oh, I would hate to lose you. All right. You're, you're up on my cat perch. Okay, so I think we're good to go here. All right. Have you kept in your mind all of the um, uh, colors? So now I'm going to take my colors again. Now I'm going to take the back side of this, and look, it's partially colored in green already. So I'm just going to use my basic green. However, you know, there was all sorts of green. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. I might take a little bit of white. I've got white on there. And so, so just start playing with your colors. I mean, green is great, but I'm going to put a little yellow in there, maybe splash it a little bit in white. And now I get a really cool green color and so again I'm not gonna take the time now you could get this all one standard color that's totally up to you um, I'm keeping the edges on there natural because I just think that looks kinda neat but you might want to get that whole side I'm gonna get a little bit more white in there you might want to get the whole side that color Pull in a little bit of my yellow and darker green. So I'm just whipping through here real quick. Maybe maybe I'll just get sort of a multi-patchy color going. And so there. So not that that's great, but again, I wanted to, to show that to you. So um, I have done some other ones. So again, back to the wooden pieces. So I've done some oranges because we saw some orange flowers the sky was like really blue probably not that blue but it inspired me and I again have some green 
And then I also did the gourd pieces. So I tried to do some, you know, different colors. I mean, there's a lot of browns in nature. This was sort of a combination of all sorts of greens. And I just have a whole pile of all these things now ready to go. So, um, so now I thought, well, do I want to use the same kind of log? You know, I did one that was sort of the larger one. And they're kind of cool because you can hang them up close to the ceiling and, you know, let everything dangle. But I thought, no, let's be creative. So I already have um, one made up, of course, so you can see. But I don't know if you'll be able to see this real well. So I wanted something different. So if you can tell, I went out, I found a really cool tree branch. Okay. And then because I have infused my mind with the colors of nature, this is, there we go. So now these are all the colors that we went out and saw. Here's sort of a sky blue. You got your greens, you got the oranges and from the, and it's really neat because when they, they turn, you get all the different colors. But now, um, this, I don't know, it's kind of creative. So you went from something like just black and white that you created before, and then you infuse some color. So hopefully that gives you just some ideas. Now, here's something if you want to get really creative. I have a larger stick like this that is actually positioned on the ceiling above my bed and it has some cool things hanging. So like now that you have it, what are you going to do with it? So kind of think creative like that. Okay. All right. So that actually completes that badge step is, um, oh, let's see. <laughs> somebody, hopefully you don't, somebody just sent me a Facebook note here. Um, let me turn my page here. All right. Other steps. Actually, we're ready to do the other steps. So in um, the Outdoor Art Master Badge, we just did step one. How you would do this, again, is do the black and white before. And then what you would do after you've kind of completed the whole badge is come back and then recreate it in color. But um, step two is... Um, create something. So you've learned, you did some, the black and white, but the, the other one is uh, do something wearable from nature. Uh, build a kite. You can do some lashing. We did some lashing the last time, if you guys remember that, if you saw it. If not, you can uh, learn about lashing. And then let me flip over here and tell you what else. The, sorry about that. Didn't mean to cut in front of you. But um, the third step is to find music in art. So you could do a soundtrack as you hike, uh, do um, turn nature sounds into music, bird sounds, uh, make a musical instrument. Um, gourds, I go back to gourds. Um, people have made beautiful, like little guitar type instruments with gourds. And um, the fourth one is a nature ph photographer. And so you could do some digital diaries, uh, take pictures from new perspectives. You might be able to inspire change by the pictures you take. So the, that part is all about digital. And then through my last page here is, and then number five then is design with nature, uh, the, the fifth step. So look at landscape, like you were out in my backyard, it's not real exciting, so maybe you can get out and go, huh, maybe a flower bed, you know, different things out there to, to improve landscape. Uh, you could do a treasure hunt by hiding things, but then placing them on a map so that it would draw a picture. And then the last one is, uh, probably one of my favorite, is a natural place space. So maybe you could design using logs, um, big rocks, different things that kids can play on. Uh, that would be great at our camps to have. So anyway, it's just kind of a really cool badge. So if you guys are really into art, uh, check this out because all, through the different steps, you, you kind of explore different parts of art. And um, it is a lot of fun to get into. So last but not least, I think um, 
that's everything I have to show you. If you know you are interested in this, uh, you could go to gs.org and um, check out Girl Scouts. It's a place you could read about us, join up if you aren't a member. Uh, remember, for a little bit while longer, we do these every day, 10 to 2. There are quite a few uh, that we've done for older girls, so check that out. Um, you can find uh, a lot of these on our, you know, on the website. We, we've turned these into YouTube uh, videos, so check that out. And then there's just a, a lot of things coming up. So I hope you'll, you'll continue and uh, join us later on. But until then, go out, create, come in, create a mess, and have a great time. So thanks, everybody. If you do have any questions about anything art-related, um, go ahead and ask questions. I'll get on afterwards and see if I can answer them. Hopefully my buddy down the road has maybe answered if you've had any questions. So thanks a lot, and we will catch you another day.